Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a 10 minute abs and core kettlebell workout. No repeated exercises, so 10 exercises with 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. I'll be using a 12 kilogram kettlebell today, but just grab whatever weight that you feel comfortable with. I love this workout as a finisher at the end of my workout, or if I'm just really strapped for time and I wanna get a quick burn. When you're ready, grab your kettlebell, let's do this. Okay, so first exercise we've got sit up. What I want you to do is hold the kettlebell upside down. So you've essentially got it like this, holding it by the handles with the bell facing up. We have it in front of our chest. From this position, we're gonna have our feet flat on the ground and we're gonna do some sit ups. Okay, let's go, 40 seconds of work. So sit ups, right up. Keeping that kettlebell in front of the chest. Try and control the movement, especially down. If this don't feel comfortable for you, then just go for some crunches. Keep going. 10 more seconds. And rest. Great job, okay, next up, we've got some half kneeling windmills. So the kettlebell, in the right hand, we're gonna have it in the rack position here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have the right foot flat on the ground, we're gonna be on the left knee. We extend the arm fully above the head. From here, what we're gonna do is lower down and twist the body at the same time. You can touch either your hand or if you have the mobility, your elbow to the ground. And the idea is that you keep really strong and stable here, controlling the movement. So it takes quite a bit of mobility. It's okay if you're not quite there yet. You might just be doing it here so that your hand is on the ground. That's absolutely fine. Just do what you feel comfortable with today. and take a rest, set that kettlebell down safely. Okay, next up, same on the other side. So this time, left foot is gonna be planted, right knee on the ground, kettlebell's gonna be in the left hand this time. So rack position on the left hand, extend above the head, and then we twist to the right. I love this exercise, great for mobility, great for core strength. Keep going. Ten seconds. Got one more. and take a rest, set that kettlebell down. Okay, next up, we get into a high plank position. Set the kettlebell on the floor, just to the left side of your body, just outside of about your chest area. You, with your right hand, you're gonna pull it through to the right side of your body, keeping a nice straight back. And then we set it down and do the same on the other side. So alternating pulling that kettlebell through, cross your body with control. Keep going. and take a rest. Okay, next up we've got some wood chops. So I like to do these in the half kneeling position. We've also just done this, so it should be nice and comfortable here. Right foot flat on the ground, left knee on the ground. We're gonna hold the kettlebell upside down like we did with the sit-ups like this. We start outside the left hip. We're gonna bring it up over the right shoulder. So getting a twist in the spine as you lift that kettlebell up 
doing it nice and controlled. So from the outside of the left hip to up and over the right shoulder. Keep going. And take a rest, set that kettlebell down. Grab a sip of water if you need, guys. Stay nice and hydrated today. Okay, next up, same on the other side. So this time, left foot planted on your right knee. Remember to hold the kettlebell upside down. We start outside the right hip. Bring it up and over the left shoulder. going. 10 more seconds. Let's do one more together. And take a rest. Okay, next up we've got pullovers. So, lying on our back, feet flat on the floor, holding the kettlebell just as we did just then, upside down. Bell facing up. Keeping the arms straight. Kettlebell straight up in front of you. We then slowly lower over the head, keeping the arm straight. And then back to the top. Make sure you keep your core engaged. For an added challenge, don't come all the way up. Just come to about you know, 70, 80 degrees rather than the full 90 degrees, and you're gonna keep that constant tension on the lats. Keep going. And take a rest. Okay, set that kettlebell down. Next up, some Russian twists. So two options here. You can either keep your feet flat on the floor as you twist through, or for an added challenge, bring the legs up off the floor. Holding the kettle by the handles, and then we're gonna bring it either side of the body, twisting at the spine. Let's go. So make sure you really get a full twist in so you can pretty much look behind you between each rep. You wanna make sure that you are getting that twist going. Now for an added challenge, extra intensity, bring those legs up off the floor. So we're in seated boat pose, as well as doing the Russian twists. Tough exercise. Requires a lot of core strength. Keep going. Five more seconds. And take a rest, okay. Now, set your kettlebell up at the end of your mat or the space you're working in. We're gonna get into a plank position and we're gonna alternate tapping the top of that kettlebell with our hands. Now really important here, you keep the body as straight as possible. Keep yourself locked in. I don't wanna see any movement in the upper body apart from your arms. Try and keep yourself locked in space. Ten more seconds, keep going, stick with me, you got this. And take a rest. Okay, one more exercise guys and then we're done with this workout, stick with me. Kettlebell is gonna be in the same position, so on the floor, what we're gonna do is we're going to alternate raising both the legs, keep the legs tight together, and we're gonna raise them over the kettlebell like this. So we're in a seated position. We're leaning the upper body backwards, keeping a neutral spine. 
And then we're alternating, tapping the floor with our heels between each rep. Stick with me guys, you got this. You've got just 20 seconds of these to go and then you're done. So keep going, you got this. I know it's gonna be burning, but just stick with me for 10 more seconds. Keep going. Five seconds. Ah, and that's it. Oh, well done. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Well done for completing that abs and core workout. Perfect finisher at the end of your workout. If you like this, then please like the video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification button, and leave me a comment. Let me know where in the world that you're completing these workouts from. I always love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next workout. Hey guys, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you about where I filmed my workout today. With MyFitPod, you get the whole gym to yourself. You can train solo, with a friend, or with your PT clients. It's got top of the range equipment like Peloton and Primal Strength in an aesthetic space. And the best part is, is that they're moving into more locations this year.